Okay, I'm just gonna Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play half life one. Yeah. So um last time I played I um I'd been thrown in this trash compactor by soldiers who ambushed me in in a nice secluded little room where there was a health station baiting me to go in there anyway um, let's see if we can find our way out of this place uh, after all we see the sky up there taunting us letting us know we're close to the surface which where we got to in the last part, anyway, close to it. So let's uh, see. Now that we see that grate down there, let's see if we can break it open. And and um, oh dear, it looks like a long way to fall, doesn't it? It's me up. It won't hurt us. Mm, nice. It didn't hurt us, and yet I remember watch and I was watching uh, Commodore Blitz when I was watching Commodore Blitz's video the other day yesterday. It actually did hurt him. Anyway, residue processing on new chapter, uh, and once again we're outside, but there seems to be flies buzzing around us. So this doesn't seem like a good place to be. Especially with this dirty looking water and all, so let's get out of it first. I've got to, we've lost all our weapons and we're just stuck with the crowbar again, is it? Strange how these rock walls sound metallic when we hit them as well, isn't it? But I digress, let's continue onward. I don't think there's anything hidden in here. And a I'm a, I'm a chronic searcher after all when it comes to these games and isn't it interesting to think how that compactor was somehow inside these rock walls how well, I came out of the, the, the uh, geographic locations and layouts of games sometimes really fun Oh, that scared me, that shocked me, that went sad. But yeah, the layout of games sometimes really fascinates me if I'm really intrigued by the storylines. I used to be like that with Red Faction as well when I started playing that after years of not playing it. But let's make our way through this little cave and see if we can find how... Oh, friends. They're here. Uh, head crabs are onto us again, and now this is, as some people say, like the start of the game again. But outside, where head crabs are accosting us, and all we can do is use our, head, our trusty head crabs, to dis our trusty crowbars, to dispatch them like so. But fortunately, they're rather weak, and they don't have the ability to attack us from afar with range attacks, so usually the crowbar is all we all need against them. Intriguing. There's pipes in this water, so maybe this is waste liquid, so I sh probably shouldn't be ducking my head under here. But then again, like I say, my urge to explore always gets the better of me and makes me play slowly in games, doesn't it? Whether that's a fun or, inf or an entertaining thing for all you fans at home, I don't know. But you'll probably have to live with it for the time being. 
looks like rather dangerous things going on in there, unfortunately. And obviously we'll end up having to go in there, won't we, with this ladder? Shame. Shame about our dearly departed site, or dearly departed site. Our dearly departed our dearly departed scientist friend. Here isn't it? Looks like he died in great distress, I'd say. So let's get rid of the evidence, like so. How much five minutes have gone by already? That's quite insane, isn't it? Then again, I do like to explore every nook and cranny sometimes and, and try to find <laughs> things like power-ups and whatnot and goodies and bullets and supplies that I might not have noticed before and all. Sometimes it gets tiring even to me doing that kind of thing. But what can you do, really, when you're an OCD victim like me? Warning, do not close outlets without closing intake. Sounds like you've got to work here often to know the, the meaning of such terminology, I say. And considering my lack of knowledge, I... I obviously have to do this by trial and error. We're getting close to these rather dangerous, seemingly dangerous, seemingly dangerous fence now with the constant steam coming out, haven't we? I wonder if this is where inspired Foul also named a gaming platform Steam in the end. Nice to know we've put a hole in that so high up off the ground, isn't it? I wonder if I can mark this. Oh, oh nice. Doesn't that look nice marking you with my little symbol there? So knowing it will be there always and forever, always and forever for, for everyone who comes by here to see. And, um,. There's a rather foreboding looking background, isn't it? Telling us we're in the middle of a of an inhospitable desert with rocky mountains everywhere. Kinda of reminds me of the Mojave Desert in Fallout New Vegas, I'd say. Looks like the sun's just rising as well, maybe. I wonder if there's any power-ups here on this uh, rocky outcrop here. Uh, they can't remember. I mean, the first times I played, I would have gone here, but... Um, oh, oh, I knew I'd soon lose, and I'd start losing my health. Well, yeah, now, let's turn this valve now quickly go up here. So I can fall on this and hopefully not lose too much damage. Oh yeah, I didn't lose any damage, how nice. God, love my smiley staying on there, haven't you? Shame I didn't mark anything else up there with my smiley, but I am a forgetful sort, especially when I feel like I'm wasting too much time in videos. I wonder if I should mark my smiley in here in these dark passageways so people coming here won't feel scared. Yes, let's do that. Okay, let's see how it looks in the dark. Well, I'll be we'll turning my flashlight off. Hmm, not bad, we can't see it at all. Okay, let's see how it would look to a person coming in here with a with a flashlight on, imagining them, them being scared, shining the flashlight everywhere, being like, Hi, is anyone there? Don't kill me, please, if anyone's there. Oh, yes, that makes... That would make a scared person feel at ease right away, wouldn't it? How nice. 
Okay. Let us proceed. It's rather dingy, this little pipe. Why isn't it? Barney! Oh, oh no, oh, don't get hurt, Barney. Oh no! I know, I was freaking out like a coward, uh, wasn't I? Hey, I just got some bullets. Oh no, Barney is dying. I'll come, I'm coming for you, Barney. Oh no, I just did more harm than good to him, didn't I? And now it seems like there's nothing I can do for him. Sad, I know, but what can you do? Just call me Quick Draw McGraw, baby. Okay, um... Yes, let's leave it out for the time being. I see they've got music now. That's always a good sign that we're progressing, isn't it? And that means... Uh, that um, we're not just wasting time. Wonder if we can mod this with. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You know, there's an Andre. You know, there's an Andre the Giant that you can. An Andre the Giant picture that you can mark on walls. Be funny to put Andre the Giant on one of those house stations, or not it? <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go stealthily, just in case there's. Dangers lurking in this place, ready to attack us. As there usually always is. I wonder if it's possible to get up there, by the way. Or if there's anything up there. Can't remember really, since I um, don't think I've ever been up there at all. But yeah, you notice these things when you progress all the through games like me these days. Mm. This is... Oh, I just... Did I just stand on a little cockroach? But yeah, so... Um, if I didn't know platform games, I'd say this is where we need to go in the end. This rather dangerous processing room. And let's see what else that there's in store for us here. Mmm, bar green sludge. Isn't that just a lovely prospect that we've got ahead of us? Help station down there though, so it's not all looking bad, is it? So, um, we've, we've what, oh no. With what little optimism we have, let us progress on and see if we can make even more progress despite the hard difficulty and all oh well lucky here oh no with with my lack of health and all I should be killing these with the crowbar, but um, I always, I always was one for extravagance. And if you've watched my videos of um, me playing toy blast, you'll know what I mean, Sunny Jim. But um, now that we're here and we've found uh, some what doors. And an armor regeneration of station. Let's heal, let's repair our armor. And this gets me closer to my dream of managing 100 health and 100 armor on, on hard mode. On hard mode. That way I'll look well and truly elite for all of my YouTube fans. Yeah, it's all 17 I've done. And um, even them, even only a few of them probably actually watch my videos and all. So, um, so that's probably really more or, 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 more or less only like maybe five fans. And that's five if I'm lucky. Five fans if I'm lucky. But, um, 
be ever the optimist, I'm not complaining. One day I'll have more subscribers than PewDiePie. One, in fact, one day I think I'll be the first person on YouTube to ever get 100 million subscribers. On that day, um, me and PewDiePie will both be tied at 99,999,999 subscribers and I will be the one to get that extra subscriber first that will get me to 100 million subscribers before him and that will mark my ultimate victory over him and yes, this isn't really very smart, is it, taking a journey, taking a foray like this across a radioactive tank and all. But in desperate times, when there's nowhere else to go, you've got to take these risks, haven't you? And even though these look like big giant pieces of chicken meat, it seems like you can't actually break them up. This seems like they're, they're hard pieces of rock or whatever and stir, strangely enough. Makes you wonder what they're doing in here, doesn't it? But fortunately this sludge isn't very radioactive, despite those scary globules shooting upwards all the time, so um, we're not losing health, fortunately. Be interesting to know what's up there. It looks like just a plain black texture, like we're not supposed to go up our sea up there. But it makes you think things get dumped down here every now and then, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at those um, extremely fashionable square light posts up on the ceiling as well. Oh, yes. Um, the growth of these Black Mesa scientists truly shows in everything that they do and buy, doesn't it? Anyway, I've wasted enough time waffling here, so let us proceed. And I would just check my face cam because I didn't throw a house. Oh no, I just started up something there. Uh, uh, I just suffer in anxiety. Okay, now let us proceed into this room that we saw from that observational area before. Normally in the past I would just proceed directly through this puzzle, but I want to see what's down here. Because these days I'm quite the explorer. Dora the Explorer's got nothing on me, you see. Knowing Half-Life, it wouldn't surprise me if they had secret surprise head crabs down here, ready to leap into my face. But, as I say, I'm an adventurous explorer, and so I want to do these things. Because that's just how I roll the baby cakes. Okay, it seems like there's nothing really here. Yes, I'm searching every inch of it because that's what those OCD people do. Hey, but uh, I remember these doors here, so... I, if I... yes, uh, this is the place with the doors I couldn't open before. How intriguing, if I do say so myself. So I wonder what's in this one though. An eerie scary corridor it seems. And another door. I wonder if this is the other door in that room. Doesn't seem to want to open though. Maintenance access. Sounds important as well doesn't it? Like a place of great import, I suppose you could say. Now it's time for the platforming here. 
and it's very scary to platform when you're doing it over pools of hope I don't get squished here when you're doing it over pools of radioactive materials very nearly took damage there didn't I but yeah that was very quickly and easily done so now we go through this little mate, little junction of passageways and um, that's, and now we need to make a daring jump across them, across them like so. Oi! You know, the first time that happened to me, that really freaked me out, especially with those little green globules falling out. It was making my skin crawl and making me freak out like a little girly boy. I'm not ashamed of admitting that because I never was the bravest, the bravest man in the in the pack in the pack in the pack, so to speak. I'm coming up with new sayings and um, allegories all the time, aren't I? Just call me Allegoric Andrew, baby. Or should I say Allegoric Alfred? Yes. Doesn't seem to be anything here, so let us find our way back up. At least there's no more globules of green ooze in here. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be any way in there either. And then um, when I go. Uh, I know it makes me feel sound dumb sometimes, but I think it makes me sound cool because of how when Freeman, when our Gordon Freeman here got abducted by the soldiers in the uh, previous chapter, one of the soldiers went uh, when uh, the other soldier was saying, let's kill him now. And even though it made the soldier sound dumb, I think it made him sound somewhat loyal to his superiors. Like deep down he had a good heart and just wanted to do what was right in the eyes of his superiors. And that's something I can like and identify and, and respect, so... So I like him. So fine, idiot. Uh, hope I don't fall down here. And, uh, oh, okay. Um, hopefully, there's no enemies here. Yes, I know. I, another place for me to search, and I'm sure you're all bored already. But I don't care because I'm a badass. It'd be funny though if this whole episode goes by and all of the only action that's taken place is me killing a few head crabs and barnacles. And, uh, <laughs> I tell you, if um, I tell you I'm the ultimate procrastinator, aren't I? I, uh, I wonder what's in here though. I can't remember if I checked in this door, in this particular doorway or not. Oh, it's a shortcut to this room. Intriguing. So that's why the door wasn't open before, because I haven't been in this particular room. And so this door leads to that staircase. Yes, yeah, most interesting indeed. 24 minutes have passed already. Isn't that insane all that time I've wasted with my OCD and with my um, and my rambling on and checking places where there's nothing and and running around in circles like I do now. This is a rather dodgy looking puzzle, jumping puzzle to take, isn't it? With those threatening globules of blue, of goon jumping up at us and all. But I remember finding it easy the last time I did it. See? 
Yeah, when uh, when I watched someone doing this last time, they fell in this, and so it made me think it's like, oh, it does feel, oh, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't, you know, I'd fall in, in the end with me talking too much and trying to show off and all. Yeah, I'm still getting hurt by the OCD, by the, uh, the, that was nice and skillful, wasn't it? Okay, um, hopefully if I don't get hurt again, I'll be able to get um, 100 armor the next time I come across an armor recharging station. Yeah, so my goal, my dream of 100 health and armor could still be a possibility here. This isn't threatening at all. Conveyor belt city, it seems. Oh, there's no head crabs here waiting to ambush me and jump on my head and turn me into a into a into a human eating head crab zombie type of enemy. Although I wouldn't be an enemy really since it's still been made deep down. That just mean it was the humans and scientists that were my enemies, wasn't it? So yes, um, Clearly, I don't always know what I'm talking about, do I? I wonder if there's any armor in these, though. It'll be grand if these could get me to closer to my dream of what the double 100s, where my health is and my armor and all that other good stuff. 26 minutes now. When you think um, of how little activity is taking place in this video, um, I'll probably be wanting to do more videos today. But let us go up here. Those sounds, those crunching sounds, aren't um, making me feel any better. And I just want to show you. Isn't that rather ominous? The force of this factory here regularly shooting out bones and bits and pieces of meat and gore. That'd make any new employee feel welcome in this workplace, wouldn't it? Makes you wonder what Gordon Freeman was thinking coming here to work. Oh, oh stop fighting! That was a ton of bullets the right way, we... Yeah, I don't envy girls and having to swim in this dirty water. I mean, uh, imagine if you accidentally swallowed some of it while you were under the... You'd be spitting and coughing and splutting, spluttering for ages when you came out of there, wouldn't you? I wonder what's on the other side there. Doesn't seem to be much of anything except more the blood. Except more the blood and go. Oh, seems like more human remains are coming out of these little sh these bigger shoots here. I sure wonder if there's creatures in there spitting them out or something, doesn't it? After killing unfortunate victims or whatever. Let's see if we can make some progress. I don't think these doors open, but we can see in there. So that's a sign that maybe we're destined to go in there, be on the other side of these doors at some point. Obviously we don't want to go in there. Okay, take a breath, Freeman, because we're going under. Oh, we just turn our torch on. That looks rather foreboding, like we don't, don't push me. Some invis invisible force seems to push me then. Yeah, like even the game itself wants me to get mince to pieces. Caution, that's a bit of an understatement, isn't it, Sunny Jim? Uh, no secret supplies on this light, is there? No. Okay, the OCD part of me is satisfied now. Oh, 
I wonder if I was up there before or at, at the start when I first came into this place because it does look lit up like there might be rooms up there, doesn't it? But I digress. Mm, that doesn't look too welcoming, does it? Looks like pain central in there, in fact. But we never had the safe. We never had the safest job in the world working in this cesspool of immorality, did we? Take a breath again as we're going in. Oh, oh, crumbs! Where I thought I heard the uh, flames again. Yeah, we know what's going there. I feel like I'm being pushed again. Is it leeches, I wonder? Or just bits and pieces of body parts being dropped on me? In these places. Yes, clearly we want to stay under the water to avoid being burned by these few flames here. Makes you wonder if from this hissing sound of these flames, if these were somewhat responsible for the for the steam hissing out of the vents of the outside of the building, doesn't it? But I digress, let's go under. Crouch. Because this threatens to be dangerous. This turning machinery. Oh, I'm drowning. Scared to the water. Okay, it seems we're safe for the time being. Providing there's no dangerous, horrible monsters up here. The door. And it leads us here. A shortcut to this first, uh, this earlier room we were in. And lots of blood has been fought, lots of bloody body parts have been falling here since, haven't they? Since we depart, since we departed from this room anyway. And um, now that I'm safe here for the time being in this nice cosy room compared to those other dangerous rooms we were in before I'm going to call it an episode I think I once got stuck in there by the way when I was trying to jump in jump on top of the pipes to see if there's supplies in there but I won't do it at this time so I'll just save the game now make it hard um, uh, yeah I'll just save the game and uh, then I'll continue next time. So, I'll see you all next time, friends.